Well, my name's Joseph Kittle, everyone calls me JD, and uh, my company is Molecular Technologies Laboratory. Uh, and here in Athens, we do work with uh, molecular biology, that is, we are able to understand the biology of the living cell at the level of molecules. And the importance of that is that uh, you can actually engineer a cell uh, to have new properties. But it all starts basically with chemistry and understanding uh, how the cell works and how chemistry works. When I first started college, the, the idea that chemistry and biology were somehow separate. And at that time, we knew a lot of the molecules in the living cell, but we didn't really know how they operated. There was a phrase coined at that time called molecular biology. And it was this hope that you could understand biology at the level of molecules, and at that time, it really wasn't there. Since that time, biology's invented it, reinvented itself a couple of times, and now we're at the point where we can actually engineer cells based on the chemistry taking place inside them. One of the molecules we work a lot with is DNA. So we use synthetic DNA to reprogram living cells. If I were to make a DNA molecule with this type of model, it wouldn't be huge, it'd be about this big along, around, but it would be the length of a football field, these giant molecules. Uh, we're actually able to engineer those here. We design them on a computer, and then we order them through the internet, and they're delivered by FedEx. So there are factories out there that make these giant molecules. Now, at one time, that was really exciting, just being able to make the molecules. Now we actually use them to engineer cells. So we bring them here. Now, when they arrive, they're not big, giant things. They're a little drop of liquid, less than a drop, in a, in a test tube. And we use those to reprogram bacteria or human cells uh, to have new properties. For example, we uh, will take a bacteria and use it to produce a pharmaceutical something that would be possible to cure a person with. Uh, so we will engineer the bacteria to make a particular protein, and that protein then, then be given to a sick person to cure their disease. I got a degree in chemistry here at Ohio University in Athens, and then I went off to graduate school at Harvard, and I ended up doing a postdoc at, at uh, Ohio State. That would seem like it would have me on a trajectory toward working in the lab the rest of my life. And I do work in the lab, but the fact is I also teach and I also have a business. And so that idea of being able to sort of be an ambassador for the world of chemistry allows me to use that knowledge in a variety of ways. Uh, the main sort of core of what you want to be able to do, you want to be able to understand the world around you, you want to be able to communicate that, and you want to be able to have creative ideas. Don't be afraid to talk to people. You know, that English class or that presentation class that you take, it, it's pretty distant from chemistry, but it allows you then to interact with other people. So don't, don't think that, that taking an English class is going to somehow affect your ability to do chemistry. It's going to enhance it because you need to communicate the things you learn. And then finally, the creative ideas. And I wish I had a magic formula. I wish I could tell you how to be creative, but I think it's a it's the ability to trust yourself, to try something. And if it doesn't work, don't be surprised. It's okay. You're going to be able to do more stuff in the future. Take good notes, keep track of what you're doing, and don't be surprised when things don't work the first time. So that creative spark, that's the one thing our company does better than almost anyone I've ever worked with. This company is designed to be creative. There's actually no substitute for throwing yourself into it. Allow yourself to be caught up and taken along by the wave. Have a passion. And that that's, has always been my passion, to, uh, to use chemistry as sort of a way to uh, uh, interact with the world and, and create value that might be hidden from other people.